got a bucket on his head. It's like gory cute. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator and welcome to a Dayton Dissects slash giveaway of Zombie Playground, which is an early access game. Really, really cool. Got started up on Kickstarter and I think there's a lot of potential here. So we'll go to the equipment screen, go ahead and check out what it has and uh, you can change up your two-handed weapon, you can change up your uh, ranged weapons, you can change your consumable that you start with, as well as your class. There's uh, the bully, which is like a warrior, and a rascal, which is kind of like a scout. There's the gender, I've got a barky dog at the moment, which uh, can be picked under the clothing and accessories tab. And here's my doggy. Doggy, goodbye doggy, hello doggy. I think doggy can be pl played as a player too, but... I've had some trouble um, with online, and I don't have anybody here that will play with me. So, boohoo! <laughs> Still really cool. Lots of uh, spike bracelets. You can pick your hair. Right now, I have a gas mask. Boo! But he's got like a scar, which is super nice. We're gonna wear some goggles for this time around. Change up your uh, your shoes, and whatnot. Really nice. Your torso. You don't have to have your hoodie up. But, uh, it looks cool that way. <laughs> so, let's go ahead into the solo mode and we'll try and defeat the janitor. Now, it's really, really tough, um, to fight adults. <laughs> adult zombies in this game because you are just a kid. So, adult zombies are generally like bosses. Something like that. Wah! You do special moves like that, uh, if you charge for just a second. You gotta really get the timing down to be able to do it. There's a couple different special moves for each class. Boom! There's the second one for the bully. Just all about, uh, boo, putting that damage down. And there are a nice amount of, uh, power-ups and whatnot that drop along the way. So even if you're taking some damage, it's not, it's not overly difficult. I would like to see some difficulty settings and whatnot. But aside from the difficulty settings, whoa! <laughs> I think it's got a really cool style. Wow. How'd I get hit? Now, there are quite a few different zombies in this game. Um, there are zombies that'll throw brains at you. <laughs> which you may have noticed. As well as the, the melee sort that just come up and try and eat your face. And then, uh, you get some weird glowy lady zombies in the science lab. We'll go ahead and head inside the school. And... I guess I'm gonna do this one right here. It's a nice small doorway. Oops. Reload, reload, reload. Yeah. You can also uh, double tap to jump to the side or backwards. Or wherever you feel you need to, to dodge to. Oh. Some collision there. We need to get out of this open area. Oh, there's an adult zombie. Adult Zambi! Adult Zambi! We need to fucking get that guy. Help me, doggy! Help me, Tom Cruise! Shit, shit, shit! Run! I really like how fluid the controls feel. When you're dodging away from people, running down a hall. It's as fast as it needs to be, although the fluidity of it kind of does make it a little easier than it should be. Who's Tim? I'm telling Tim. Oh, we're going to get fucked in here. Yeah. Oh, God. Now the janitor's coming. Ugh, super slam. Oh, my God. There he is. Oh my god! He's terrifying! <laughs> I've actually never seen the janitor before. But he's got a bucket on his head. It's like gory cute. Oh my god, look at him. What the fuck? It's like Triangle Head from Silent Hill. Good lord. That guy got me real good. Let's go back and try and see the janitor again. But this time, 
I'm going to do it as the uh, the scout class, which is a little bit faster, or the the rascal, as as we call it here. It doesn't change your looks any, but you'll be able to tell the difference. Oh my god! They're just everywhere. Where's the janitor? Oh, he's coming. Should not worry. He is coming. Oh! There he is! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. No! <laughs> wow! Oh my god. So brutal. So while I had a good time with Zombie Playground, I think there are a few things that need to be addressed. Uh, six classes may not necessarily be enough. One level is definitely not enough. Um, but if the game is expanded upon, I think it could be something totally great. And already it's something that I enjoy a, l a whole lot, even with only two classes and one level. So the controls, I've given a 10 out of 10. They're extremely fluid, extremely tight. Um... There are some issues with the camera clipping, but that's not necessarily a control thing. Overall, I found it really intuitive, really quite easy to handle and to master, and I really like the control scheme, so 10 out of 10. Fun Factor, I've given an 8 out of 10. It is an extremely fun game, and I think with uh, even more players and more classes, it could be something that is, you know, the equivalent of Left 4 Dead, just something to get together with your buddies and blow some zombies apart. The difficulty at the moment is only a 6 out of 10, um, while defeating the janitor is hard. Uh, it's not that hard to defeat 100 zombies, or 50, or explore the school. I think it needs a few more uh, difficulty modes and a few more tweaks before it'll be something really like um, for the hardcore gamers, the hardcore crowd. The replayability I've given a 2 out of 10. Currently it only has 2 classes, 1 level. And while uh, hack and slash action is just fine, I think it needs a bit more variety to hold uh, someone's attention a bit longer. Someone like me. <laughs> the innovation I've given a 7 out of 10. It is just a zombie shoot 'em up, but it is uh, done with school kids, and I really like that aesthetic. It carries all the way through with all the weapons. Uh, they're basically something that all school children would have access to. Nail guns, yeah, maybe not, but if it's the Zombocalypse, who knows, you know what I mean? <laughs> the graphics I've given a 10 out of 10. I really do love the art style. Um, the Black Blood is an interesting choice, but I think it keeps it from being too gory. Um, as strange as that sounds, just the color of the blood really does make a lot of difference. And it also adds to the the cinematic sort of, sort of style about this kid cleaning out the scoop. <laughs> the music's an 8 out of 10. Um, really, it is just a couple of synth pads, but I really like the old-school electro synth feel, kind of chip y at some points, and it's really, really an interesting choice of music, but it's something that resonates with me, certainly, so I give it an 8 out of 10. Sound effects, I've given a 6 out of 10. Um, I think it's relatively generic, to be completely frank, uh, it feels good to slash zombies up and stuff like that, but the roars of the zombies and stuff can get a little grating at times because there's not an overwhelming amount of sounds while there is an overwhelming amount of zombies. So, <laughs> that could use a little more work. The story could definitely um, happen at some point. Right now it's a 0 out of 10 because there's basically not one to speak of. Um, it doesn't hurt the score overly much, um, but I think that this game could greatly benefit from a story mode, surely. The level design I've given a 7 out of 10. It is currently only one level, but the level is vast, with a lot of uh, choke points and vantage points and a lot of strategic locations that you can take up to fight the zombie horde, and I think that's really important. Uh, there's that hall that comes to mind as well as the the bus and a few few doorways that if you have a couple teammates you can really just lay some pain down on those zombies it's a little harder by yourself but uh still definitely not impossible with some good strategic thinking so 
the grand total for Zombie Playground is a 64 out of 100, slightly above average. Um, I think it's deserving of that. Um, really, the game needs work. It feels early access to me, definitely. But um, I'm all for supporting a, an, a small up-and-coming developer, especially one that has uh, such an artistic style and an artistic vision. So I'm in support of Zombie Playground. The score is a bit low at the moment, but uh, I think it would definitely be improved over time. I'm also doing a giveaway of two, count them, two Steam keys. So if you want to enter for one of those, go ahead and leave a comment on this very video down below, and I'll pick one um, in a couple of days, probably on Monday. I'll announce it. So uh, look for that, and if you did enjoy, I hope you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. This has been Zombie Playground. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.